What's up guys? This will be an example solve video that's more concentrated on the cross plus one slash cross to x wall transition slash cross plus two aspect. So what I'm gonna be doing here is these are three scrambles of varying difficulty and I will each be going in depth on how to plan cross plus two on every one of these scrambles and what exactly is going through my brain while doing it. So you can try to replicate that and see if it works for you. So. This will be my first cross plus one tip video. Uh, people have suggested for me to try something like this. So if you have any more specific suggestions on how you would like to see cross plus one videos, then let me know in the comments. But here is the first scramble. It can be done in three moves. Scrambles are in the description and in the pin comment, by the way. Anyways, to solve the cross, you can do D2 F prime R2. That would be the solution I would choose. And the first pair I would like to do is the backlash pair. Now, there is a hierarchy of which pairs you want to be doing first. Uh, back left, you would definitely want to be doing first. And then it's back right, and then front left, front right. And that's just the typical order that you would want to do them. Generally, you would want to avoid doing diagonal slots. Uh, and you just want to be solving the two back slots first. Anyways, D2 F prime R2 prime. So. Well, let's track the back left pair because that's the pair I want to be doing, right? So I'll use this technique where I put my finger on a piece I'm tracking and keep my finger on that piece and just trace wherever it goes as the cross is done. So D2 does not move this piece. And uh, keep in mind, I am keeping my finger on the green sticker and wherever my finger goes is where the green sticker is. So I'm touching the green sticker right now D2 is the first move of the cross, does not move this piece. F prime moves this piece over here. And please note that the piece that I'm touching here would be where the green from this piece is. So it would be right here. And then R2 does not move this piece at all. So after doing the cross, I know that this piece is just going to be right here. Now for the other piece for the back left slot, this one, I'll keep my finger on the white sticker like that. And I'll just follow it wherever it goes and do the cross solution in my head. So D2 moves this piece right here. So the white sticker would be right here. And then F prime would move the white sticker right here. And then R2 would move the white sticker right here. So I know that after doing the cross, I would have precisely this case because this piece is right here and uh, this piece would be right here. And once again, I'm pointing to where the green sticker would be and where the white sticker would be so I don't have to worry about orientation. So what's going to happen is I know that that would be the case and the solution to solve it would be R u to R prime L u prime L prime like that, right? And since I want to do cross plus two, as this is such an easy scramble, uh, all I have to do is track the next pair, which ideally would be the back right pair. And in this case, the back right pair is just perfect. So uh, sorry about the background noise. I can't do anything about it. So D2 F prime. I'll be, I'll be pointing my finger on this white sticker. So D2 F prime does not do anything to the sticker. And right now what's gonna happen is I'm not gonna recite the rest of cross actually. I'm gonna recite the cross into the continuation of the first pair. So it's gonna be D2, D2 F prime, and then of course, R U to R prime L, U prime L prime. So what that's gonna be is since I'm canceling into it, it would be D2 F prime R prime U2 R prime L U prime L prime, right? And what's gonna happen is I'll track this piece, D2 F prime R prime U2 R prime, okay? And then L U prime L prime. So I know that after doing the cross and first pair, my second pair piece, this white sticker will be right here like that. And now I can focus on this piece, so D2, D2, F prime, R prime, U2, R prime, L, U prime, L prime. So it's gonna be right here with these with this pair right here. So, well, let's just set up that case right now so you have the idea of what it looks like. And it's just gonna be this case. Um, it's gonna be this case like that, right? And I know the solution to solve this pair. Since this slot is empty, I'd probably do something like U prime sledge and then insert, that's just a nice solution if the front right slot is empty. So let's go ahead and do all of that. 
this is basically what I would have done for this scramble because I probably wouldn't have time in 15 seconds to plan three pairs. If I had unlimited inspection, I probably would, but I'm not at that level yet. So D2, F prime, R prime, U2 prime, R prime, L, U prime, R prime. And of course I have this pair, right? And that's the solution would be to do that. So that's how I would plan two pairs for that cross. Now for the second one, this one, two, three, four, five, this is a six move cross. And there is a possibility of getting an X cross. As you can see, I can take this and make an X cross with it if I wanted to. Um, but we do have to make sure that the solution to get an X cross is actually faster. So it appears that I'm actually not going to do the X cross because there's a better way to do the cross plus one. And my cross solution is going to be one, two, three, four, five. Six. It's going to be six moves. So it's going to be L prime. U2, F, R prime, D, R. Try that on your cube. If you're following along, I, I guarantee you that that will work. And actually, there is a free pair right here, so I might rethink the solution. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is just, after doing that cross, I get this free pair, this, pay, this, this free pair, and I'll tell you how I got that. So... L prime moves this cross edge over here. So L prime, U2, F, R prime, D, R. So I know that this piece is going to be right here. So the orange sticker is going to be right here where I'm pointing at. And I know that this piece, L prime, okay, I'm going to be pointing at the white sticker now. L prime, U2, F, R prime, D, R. Okay, so this piece over here, like that. This piece is over here like that. So I know it's going to be a free pair that looks something like uh, this. It's going to be a free pair that looks like that. And the way to insert that is just to insert with F moves into the front slot. So that's precisely what I'm going to do. And I will be doing the back right slot next. So uh, the reason I'm doing the front right pair first is just because it works out better this way as I do have a free pair that's going into the front right. So yeah. There are situations where you wouldn't solve the back slot first simply because the front slot's a free pair. And if you try to solve the free pair into the back slot, you have a horrible cross. So yeah, that's what I would do here. So L prime, U2, F, R prime, D, R, and then U2, F prime, U prime, F prime. Let's see what that does to our second pair. Second pair I'm going to be choosing is the back right slot because remember, you want to be doing adjacent slots. Slots that are next to each other, not opposite slots. So I'm going to be doing the first two pairs as front right and then back right. And back right is these two pieces. So let's track the edge first. L prime, U2, F, R prime, D, R. U2, F prime, U prime, F. So it stays here. It, it, just, it just moves around and goes back to the same spot. That's where this piece goes. Now for this piece, I'll be pointing at the white sticker and just following where it goes. So L prime, U2, F, R prime, D, R, U2, F prime, U prime, F. Perfect. So what that tells me is it's actually just going to be this. It's just going to be a free pair. So I have two free pairs in a row. And so what the cross plus two is going to look like is L prime, U2, F, R prime, D, R, U2, F prime, U prime, F, R prime, U prime, R. So it's going to be like this. U2, F prime, U from F, R prime, U from R. Perfect. And if you didn't see, actually, there's two free pairs here. And uh, if you really wanted to, you could probably insert both. Is there, <laughs> can you though? I probably wouldn't. I probably, I probably would just do that. But anyways, the last scramble. So this is a horrible cross, as you can see. It's probably going to be like eight moves. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that's a nine move cross. I don't want to be doing that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't want to be doing a nine move cross. Let's see here. If I do U prime or prime. Okay, this. Mm, okay. So I'll be using an F12 trick for the first pair. Okay, I already, I already have cross plus two planned. Um. I'm going to be doing the back left slot first. 
And uh, okay, so the back flip slot set it up on another cube. So the cross solution I'm gonna be doing is U prime R prime F D two U R prime F D. Uh, try that on your cube. I guarantee you that it will work. And we're gonna be tracking the back left slot. So these two pieces, right? Let's start with the corner. So D two does nothing. So D two. Wait, no, it doesn't. The first move is not D two. The first move is U prime. So U prime does nothing. R prime F. D2, U, R prime, F, D. So I know that this piece, the white sticker is going to end up right here. Now let's track the other piece. So this one, D2, sorry, what do I keep seeing? D2, U prime, R prime, F, D2, U, R prime, F, D. So, okay, so it's going to be, the edge is going to be right here. And uh, yeah, the, the corner is going to be right there. And the case is going to be this one, like that. So I, I know that I can solve it with U, R prime, L, U, 2, L prime, R. So let me add that to the moves I'm going to be doing. So the moves I'm going to be doing is U prime, R prime, F, D, 2, U, R prime, F, D, U, R prime, L, U, 2, L prime, R. And now let's apply those moves to my second pair, which is going to be going into the back right slot. And I actually know that this piece, okay, so let's let's track this piece. Let's point at this, this sticker. So u prime r prime f u prime r prime f that's correct and then d2 u r prime f d and then u prime r prime l u2 sorry l u2 l prime so it's going to be right here this piece is going to be right here the green is on this side and now that i've tracked this piece let's track let's track this piece so u prime r prime f so once again i'm pointing at the white sticker keep that in mind u prime r prime f d2 u r prime f d and then u r prime l u2 l prime r so what that's going to be is this pair well, okay, the, the white corner will be right here, and the other piece will be right there. So just to show you what that would look like, it's going to be this pair, like that. So I would do a U prime and then solve it. And now that I've planned both of these pairs, here's what it would look like. So U prime R prime F D2, U R prime F D, U R prime L U2 L prime R, U prime R prime F, U prime F prime R. So it's going to be like this. and you're done cross plus two. And that's what I would plan an inspection. So I guess, yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please let me know what exactly you would like to see for cross plus one tips, cross plus one tutorial, you know, pretty knowledgeable in terms of cross plus one. Just just make sure that you're, you're, you're telling me exactly what to do because people have told me to make cross plus one tutorial videos and uh, I, I really don't know exactly what I should be showing in these videos and what exactly you do need help with. And uh, yeah, so please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.